from the most diverse city in the world, this is Canadian Jewish Television. Welcome, my friends, to Canadian Jewish Television. My name is Eden Wall, and I'm so happy to have you with me once again. And we are at the midway point of season number one, the midst of a pandemic. Canadian Jewish Television from the thriving metropolis of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, for a celebration of Jewish art, history, and culture in this amazing country. Now, we've had some amazing guests on the program so far, Jewish luminaries who have taken the time in the midst of a pandemic to stop by and it means so much to me, and I know it means a lot to you. Paul Gautry was our very first guest. Then we had Mark Breslin on, then Dan Schulman, and then Robert Lantos. And we have some amazing surprise guests lined up for the second part of the season. But today, we have a, a man named David Grossman. Now, he's going to lead off our, our series called Jewish Entrepreneurs. And I love friends putting the spotlight on entrepreneurs because they're a, a fascinating breed of the human species because they have all this creativity and outside the box thinking and they have the grit, determination and tenacity to bring their product or service to market. It's a very unique, it's a very special mix of character traits and personality traits and I'm going to take no small amount of pleasure in introducing you to David Grossman. Now he's got a new concept called Rock Your Mortgage and this is where he blends his passion for singing and music with his career as a mortgage broker. And so he does these podcasts and live events, and he uses the healing power of music to connect with his audience, and then he discusses his expertise and shares all of his insights as a mortgage broker. So it's a really clever idea. Let's learn all about it and learn about Dave's sales career right now. In the early 2000s, David Grossman branded himself as the mortgage mensch and quickly became one of the most successful mortgage brokers in Ontario. He subsequently created Mensch Life, a Jewish talk show which he hosted, created, and produced, and was distributed in America. In 2004, David created All Talk TV, Toronto's first All Talk web TV platform. And just recently, David created RockYourMortgage.ca, where he combines his love and passion for music and singing with his expertise as a mortgage broker. And now, Jewish Entrepreneurs, brought to you by rent son Nice Guys Pro Mover. David, welcome to the studio. It's so much fun to have you here, and we've spoken over the years, and I always love to tap into your insights. You're kind of like a, I would say a sales expert. Um, you've been in sales most of your life, and what, I always like to ask salespeople this, what do you think is the most important ingredient to being successful at sales? You have to constantly be marketing and constantly uh, widening your funnel, bringing in new prospects. Okay. That's number one, yeah. right? And number two is you have to believe in what you're doing, you have to be sincere, and you have to know your product. And, you know, you, you have an agenda, let's say, in business, but it, it's not going to happen if, if you don't have people's buy-in. So you really got to know what makes people tick. You got to listen to people. You got to understand uh, what it is they need, what it is uh, they want to get out of something. You can't force your agenda. You can be determined uh, to make sure that they, uh, you, do, you put your best foot forward um, and that you know your products, but uh, you, you can't force people to do anything. You need to try and work in harmony with people. It's, uh, it's more rewarding uh, it, on a number of different levels. Okay, so let's start with your Jewish background, because you know this is a Jewish show. And I'm always curious about people's Jewish foundation. Now, you hosted a Jewish show some years ago. I did. And you've done a lot in the Jewish community. So, what is it about your Jewish values that has informed your career? Like, what were you taught by your parents and grandparents that you take into your career? Well, I mean... Um 
I, I went to Hebrew school growing up, you know, grew up in, in a traditional Jewish family. Yeah. My dad's a Holocaust survivor. Uh, Judaism was an important part of my identity growing up, grew up amongst Jewish kids. And then I started advertising my mortgage business on a Jewish television show when I first got into the mortgage business a number of years ago. And, uh, and I, I, I fell in love with media I, and I became even more familiar with Jewish issues. That show was somewhat political. I became very impassioned and uh, became very important to me. You know, you bring up social media and I always think of social media as being this double-edged sword or two-headed or three-headed monster, use whatever metaphor or analogy you want. Social media has become this, this beast that we all have to deal with and it's like a tool and if you use it well, you can really be productive with it. And then if you don't use it well, as you just alluded to, and you start posting things that without thinking so much about what you're posting, and you, it can backfire on you too. So what's the secret to using social media, do you think, to your advantage as a, a mortgage broker? Well, from a mortgage point of view, I, you know, I, I post uh, activities that we're doing. We, we, uh, we run events, podcasts, uh, music events, all related to fundraising activities that we do, music events that we do, but they're all kind of sort of tied into, you know, like at least my mortgage business is getting some visibility, I'm trying to do some good for the community at the same time, but I'm not uh, being a very controversial and starting arguments with people on social media because it's, it's, I don't really see the point at this point in my life and career. Right? Yeah, well you've had, you know, your share of challenges in the last few years. Um, sorry about the passing of your mother. And Thank you. And had some other, you know, losses. And um, this is something that isn't spoken about very much. So you have a master salesperson who's rolling, doing great. Numbers are coming in. He's playing the numbers game. Everything's coming in. And then he hits, something happens in his life. You know, he has a trauma, a tragedy, and it throws him off his game. And how does, if you were giving advice to a, you know, a salesperson who has a major trauma or a tragedy, how, how would you advise them to absorb that and somehow get back into the flow of sales? Well, my mother was sick uh, for about a year, about a year and, um, you know, you just, you just got to keep going. She, she lived a full life. We love my, we love my mom. We loved her. We miss her every single day, but, uh, you know, I have a family and I have, uh, obligations. So, uh, you, you just, you have to keep going for the sake of, of those that you love and, uh, hope for brighter days. And they, they usually come. Canadian Jewish Television will be right back, right after this.